Hey my beautiful people, it is Otis Madeline here once again and you know it's about to go down. I am coming to take this braid down. I wanted to take it down when it's two months, but your girl, I am missing my hair. Like if you are like that, just leave a comment down below. I can't go two months, like I miss my hair. Like yeah, yeah, I miss it. a bit of this I turn like this I pump a little bit okay just two drops of it and then yeah on my fingers it's like this because and also in your palm okay so that it becomes slippery yeah to prevent breakage okay <laughs> so let's do the do guys you know my hair is longer and I don't want a situation whereby I'm gonna cut my hair off. So I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely gonna start. And guys, let me check the time now. I think it's this. Um, guys look at the rubber band that i use and look look at this it's okay right Let's see look at this like yeah so uh, yeah bye guys just look at this you just look at this you see the rubber band came off look at this it came off broken okay look at this it came off broken so like let's see go get that rubber band try it on look at this so when I take it down like this okay look at this my hair is so looking shinier of yeah look at this I am closer to the camera so look my hair still looks shinier after look at this after six weeks almost seven weeks and my hair is so shining you see but you know there's that look at this I love that so I'm gonna make two pumps one two okay and then I rub it in my palm and yeah, apply it on my head. Okay. See my edges are so there like okay guys that is why you shouldn't keep your hair for that long it's gonna tangle the dead look of this so I would tell you all that if you want to make such hair please don't leave it on for three months yeah the least you could go is just one month I beg of you if you are the type that you cannot um, how do we call it let me shift my t-shirt if you're the type that you're not patient enough to handle your hair, please don't go past two months. Below one month or one month exactly, take it down. Or 
three weeks okay don't braid your hair two weeks and take it down please three weeks or one month okay yeah let's get to the other one all this uh, proposal thing on Instagram and it was a lady who proposed to a guy like guys leave a comment down below would you rather wait for your boyfriend to propose to you or you will propose to your boyfriend if the need arises and you have money and you think he's not ready are you willing to propose to him and let him be your husband like like no hard feelings but if you can do it like hey but for me guys i can't do this what proposing to a guy okay like wait a minute what if you propose to that guy in that crowd you go indoors and he tells you he's not ready like he's not ready to get married what are you going to do basically what are you going to do if a guy is ready he 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 comes out wholeheartedly to propose to you okay because he knows his time he knows he's ready he knows he's financially stable to take care of you so he's going to propose but how on earth would you propose to a guy like are you for real like no hard feelings if you can do it like you're a brave girl but for me i can't do this okay what if you propose and he says okay what next he doesn't have money are you going to use your own money to like cater for the guy take care of him like your bills foodstuffs like it is different if the guy is working but his salary is a bit less you can support him right you can support him by maybe buying food stuffs to the house or like handy like working hand but like proposing to a guy like i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i i, I don't wish for any lady to do such thing please like don't propose to a guy no mm -mm -mm. if you're planning of that please don't do it for you know maybe he doesn't even love you you have proposed you have proposed to him in the crowd you go indoor and you, you cry like what is that like don't propose to a guy please it's different maybe he wants to get married to you he has proposed he wants to get married to you and he doesn't have enough money at least you can support maybe you take 20 percent of it and then he takes 80 okay maybe yeah guys so look at this look at this guys you see the rubber band is even down already look at this okay so i'm telling you that see where, where has it fallen so i'm gonna pump two but here is a bit strong so i'm definitely gonna use my detangler a bit to make it soft okay yeah and then separate it okay let me separate my hair so guys just as i was saying please do not propose to a guy i don't know what really what really made the girl propose i can't tell but like it's okay to support him a little bit even for that one i think you should take 20 percent and he takes 80 percent of everything you can support him to get married to only if you know the kind of man you're getting married to okay please don't propose to a guy 
like what if you propose and he is not ready if he is not ready like what so two pumps one two okay then rub it put it in the hair how on earth are you proposing to a guy guys oh my proposing to a guy this is something that i have to die and go and come back before maybe <laughs> leaving for that one i'm still thinking of it guys okay i have seen i don't know how i'm going to block it for you to see but yeah have you seen it so please don't propose to a guy i beg of you do not okay for this one also i'm gonna pump a bit you see how the detangler helps it does helps okay helps make it soft and then it's open one two but i see my edges are still there okay so there none of it came off so yeah i've taken down two okay so let's take this down oh no let me shoot this the back and then start this it's because i pumped water here that is how come this place has been smooth and the curls like I think I'm even going to rock this kills for some days or what do you think?
Guys, is that facial expression for me? I think I'm just not the only person whose facial expression changes anytime they are taking down their braids or they are doing their hair. I think it's it's kind of natural it comes natural like after you're done your face changes dramatically like i just don't <laughs> Yeah, so here look I was checking the length of my hair guys this video is long but it's helpful so please watch it to the end of the video and know the outcome of it all okay yeah Trust me, this detangler is the best. It has been helping me for the past three years now. Before, I never use any detangler. When I take down my braids, I just use my white tooth comb to be separating the mat in the hair, the tangles in the hair. But when I discovered or found this detangler, it saved my life. Okay, as you can see here, I was giving you guys the the real deal, like details on how I take down my braids and you could testify to it that this detangler is the best if you've not yet tried any other detangler then i recommend this yeah try it and you would come on here and leave a comment and say wow this girl you are the best and i know you definitely come back and leave a comment down below 
yes so guys keep on watching and make sure you subscribe click the notification bell beside it. share for others to see leave your comment below and give this video a thumbs up okay yeah This extraordinary oil from Elvis Laura Perry is the best. This is an oil and a serum as well. It has really helped me grow such long hair because it makes my hair feel smooth, shinier, silky. It stops frizz and it it's really helps in detangling as well. You could see here that after applying or after spraying my detangler, I add this and it makes my hair feel more smoother and easy to finger detangle. Okay, so make sure you get it. I have a video of that already. Um, I will be uploading it very soon, so stay tuned for that video. Laughs. So, what detangler do you use, or oh, you are not even using a detangler at all? Because I know I've been there before. Before I was not using any detangler, trust me. But after I big chopped my hair and decided to go it, I decided to go and get a detangler. I studied my hair. I knew what my hair liked, and yeah, this detangler has been so much helpful to my hair, and it has made my life easier if i say easier you could see it from this particular video okay if you have been using this also leave a comment down below and if you have been using a different detangler leave it in the comment section below and let other people also see it if they want to try it out then they it will be helpful to them basically so yeah
so guys I'm basically done with this decided to show you all the last one and yeah look at this oh my goodness I look good in that I'm shifted back so so as I told you guys I spray Okay, so that is gonna be a bit soft. guys so now this is, yeah. so uh, oh my goodness I am done oh I think this can be a braid out or what do you think we finally done you could see there's a bit of shine in there like you see my edges are still there it's not gone so what's this okay this video is way way long oh my if not, I'll cut some part of it. I'll cut part of it and add it up to how I detangle it. But guys, I think I look good in this braid out. What do you think? Yeah. But when I comb it out, <laughs> you don't know where my hair will be. Like, oh my. When I comb it out, you'll be shocked. Okay? So there's going to be a video of the oil like basic like guys if you look at my face right now you can see that i'll go aside let me let me let me close right now and go and sleep so see ya in my next video